perspective, what is a virtual club? Sure. I think a lot of us are asking that question on what it looks like. And a virtual Awana club is using online tools, digital tools, to help further the gospel and discipleship. So I had the thought and have heard other people, can you really disciple kids virtually? Can that really happen? Mm -hmm. We say yes. We say yes to child discipleship no matter what. No matter what way you decide to do it this fall, we say yes. So we're going to look at some ways to keep kids engaged virtually in Awana clubs this year. So Katie, what does large group time look like in a, a good, better, even better approach to doing Awana clubs virtually? Well, a good way to teach uh, your children would be to share the lesson videos from awanaplus.com. We have crowdsourced some great lessons from teachers all across the U.S. who have a passion for instilling God's words in God's word in the hearts of our children. Uh, you can share the links with your parents and for their children to watch the lessons from their specific age group each week. And then a better way would be to record and upload your own lessons uh, through digital platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Google Drive, or Dropbox. You can email them or share them with your students and families. This way, children and families can watch them anytime they want during the week. And then an even better way to share the lessons with your students would be to host a live video like this one uh, via Zoom or Google Hangouts or Facebook Live. Um, one perk of teaching live is that you can get real-time interaction and responses from the kids. Uh, the downside to live teaching is that kids can easily distract each other or get distracted. There may be some technical internet issues, but, um, but that would be a set time each week. And then remember to keep it short. Some of your kids might be on the screen a lot more than normal this semester, so your videos should fit into a 5 to 15 minute window. And a good rule of thumb is one minute of teaching per that child's age. So for cubbies, you would want to do a three to five minute video because they're three to five years old. And for TNT, you know, you'd want to do eight to 12 minutes and um, just, yeah, keep that in mind. So what about small group? It's a good question. So much like meeting online virtually for large group, uh, we want to make sure we're still being highly relational mm -hmm. with our kids in small group time. Now you can do that a couple different ways. Uh, say you're going low tech, say you're going virtual, um, you're not meeting in person. Uh, a lot of us have one of these in our pockets um, at home. You can pick this up and connect with your kids in a small group way, either one-on-one -on -one or by creating a group call even uh, by adding people to your call and just by simply picking up a phone. So if you're meeting virtually, which means you're not meeting in person and you're using some of these tools, make that simple phone call. The other thing would be to do a group text. I'm in so many group texts right now with different people, uh, the, you know, other Awana missionaries, my family. Uh, create a group text with other families to stay connected that way. Uh, it's very low uh, in the technological um, ways to do it, but if you want to get a little more advanced, there's uh, apps called GroupMe and other ones just like it that you can download to your phone and do the group chats that way as well. So that's a good approach in keeping connection and asking some questions and interacting with your kids throughout the week. A better way would be to communicate and meet throughout the week. Now this wouldn't be a live in-person interaction like we're doing right now. Uh, this would give the directors, small group leaders, a chance to use a tool uh, like a Google Classroom or if, if it were me picking it out, I would go and use Flipgrid. If you haven't heard of Flipgrid, uh, you can form groups and gather um, you know, your Sparks groups together and then create topics within those groups. So each week you bring up a new topic. Uh, you work on a different memory verse. And from there, you can share personal videos to your group, but the kids can also share back either text or images or videos of themselves reciting scripture, answering questions that you may have uh, posed during your discussion starter video. Uh, that's, that's just a tool that you can do throughout the week. So parents can check in on their own to help their kids uh, during the small group time that way. 
the perk to this is that it eliminates some of the distractions that might be in a live type of meeting, but also, you know, those technological difficulties that we often see, oh, I couldn't connect, I couldn't get on. Um, this, this allows that to flow throughout the week and kids can jump in at their own pace. And then you probably have guessed it, an even better way to go virtual would to be meeting in a live type of interaction way like Zoom, mm -hmm. Skype, Facebook Live, and the gist. But again, if it were me choosing, I would simply use Zoom for the ease of use, for the security purposes, for everybody's heard about Zoom now during the pandemic. So you don't have to explain to people what it is. So if you could get Zoom and meet at a set time each week and meet with your small group, uh, that would be a great way to keep the highly relational part of Awana going forward. Of course, there can be some little disruptions, but man, kids love to connect and see one another uh, during small group time. So remember, some things you'll need even during virtual Awana would be the kids need their handbook. So following along to memorize scripture, uh, to interact in uh, the discussion, uh, the kids would need their age appropriate handbook. And what would you need as a small group leader for uh, meeting virtually? You would need your leader handbook. There's a brand new one for Sparks. Uh, TNT uh, is awesome and Cubbies has the uh, regular leader handbook. Uh, but just, just finding ways to encourage your kids to continue in discipleship. The other thing I might mention, we mentioned the lessons on awanaplus.com, which is our brand new digital tool site for Awana clubs, but there's also parent pages on there. So when you're meeting virtually, small group leaders can also take those parent guides and take some of the same questions and pose them and then encourage parents to go download them during the small group time as well so that they can continue that conversation beyond small group. So that's a little bit about small group. You guys may still have some questions about it, so type it in the Q&A box or in the comments. But what are some ways we can do games virtually? So it depends on what you choose to do as far as for your club, you know, virtual, um, in-person, hybrid. Um, and so you want to pick a way to still have fun uh, playing games with your students or your children. Um, a good option would be if you're meeting on, if you're not meeting online, consider emailing some activity sheets, word searches, or downloadable crafts. Um, you could even have a group text with the families, like he said, a group text is a great way. Um, so the children could upload pictures of their completed tasks and have some fun games by sharing, uh, like show and tell together, a picture of yourself when you were a baby, or just a best drawing of you, the leader, would be fun. Um, a better way, if you're um, using Flipgrid or a messenger app to post short recorded videos to connect with the kids. Consider doing some interactive games with them by posting a short video or question. And you can interact with kids by doing scavenger hunts, show and tell. Um, you can, you can continue on sure. how to do that. Um, yeah, I, one of my favorite things to do since I have a preschooler mm -hmm. uh, is the live show and tell. And just one practical thing you can do each week if you're meeting that way, uh, whether that's live on Zoom or whether that's through a Flipgrid video, is to go through the alphabet and say, this week, kids, is, we're starting on the letter A in week one. Bring something to, to show and then tell about it that starts with the letter A. Our cubby, our little girl, yes. she loves doing that. She loves sharing uh, about things she loves to do. Uh, so an even better way is if you're meeting live is to, to interact in ways like a scavenger hunt, Mm -hmm. show and tell, live charades, Pictionary. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's a game site called Kahoot where you can select mm -hmm. different uh, trivia mm -hmm. and, and do quizzes that way. But one thing that will be your best friend in this is your simple Google search bar because there's so many teachers, yes. so many people asking these same questions, mm -hmm. not just about Awana, but just about learning online in general. So use Google, use YouTube, go searching. Um, I might also mention Pinterest for all you Pinterest users out there. Sure. Uh, there's some great online tools that you can use. So, Melanie, I don't know if you have any questions for us about that, but uh, there's just, just so many ways we can decide on what to do, but we wanted to highlight some of those for everybody today.